Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more Japan in Europa Universalis 4. Okay, it's time. Let's do this. I've decided we're going full on colonial. Let's do it. We're going expansion ideas. It's going to give us CBs against people in Asia, which is good. We live near Asia. We get an extra colonist right away. And uh, yeah, we also apparently get reduced state maintenance, which is cool. What else do we get? An extra diplomatic relationship slot. That's fine. Global settler increase, an extra merchant. And our policies, we get global settler increase plus 20. And we can also act land leader fire. Sounds good, we're doing it. Let's do this. We find ourselves at peace. I don't know why. This is a, a state of being that I, I don't recall being in in, in, a, in a very long time. Um, we're trying to integrate. Unfortunately, it's, it's not going so well. Uh, because of reasons. We're at three out of four relationships though. So we could start this process of releasing a vassal down here. Malacca. How strong is Malacca? I would like to get that process started. Malacca has 16k troops on tech 10. As do we. I think we, I think we do that. I think that that's like the next thing we do. So let's march. Let's march all of our troops to a high supply province like here. And we'll take our transports which have 23, and we'll go to Beijing. I love that Korchin has Beijing. I think that's great. Korea wants military access. Ha! <laughs> uh, it's funny. No, no, really, that's funny. Uh, you guys can hang out here. Let's avoid the attrition for now. Let's grab these guys, and we're going to pull them down to here. I don't even really care what ratio of troops get down there. We'll probably bring, like, the entirety of the army down there. Uh, now these guys can come off. Kurji is gone. Demand some support. Uh, we could do that again. I think we should. We would want to get their influence really high again, though, before we would do that. Looks like it's time to demand support across the board. Can we get them all above 75%? I mean, sacking a little bit of prestige is totally fine. Um, legitimacy doesn't hurt too much either. I'd be happy with 100 Monarch points, but not 50. So, is there more land that we can give to the clergy to get them above? Like, okay, let's see. Oh, what's the best way to do this? Religious map mode. Shinto is what we want to be. This land here is not owned by the right faction. And it is not owned by any estates. So, but this is land that's... Oh no, it is owned directly by me, so sure. Uh, here, let's give this to the clergy. The clergy are at 36%. We need to get them to third to 40% so that when I do that thing. First need to select the estate in the outright oh, clergy. Make some 38%. That sounds fine. Sounds fine. Fine and fine. You can have all that land, clergy. Which puts the clergy up to 45%, which we then. And do some of this other stuff, establish new world missions. I think we do maybe try to take them all the way up to 75% then. That puts them at 60% and 75% and then we demand their support. And we don't care about the penalty because it's short term. And we could also seek support if we wanted to raise the loyalty back up, but that would cause problems. So there's 75 of that one. This one, we definitely always want this thing going. And we want to get them up to 75, so I think we do this one as well. We demand Diplo support. And then I would, I'd love sinking them up. I love doing all three of them at once. We could recruit a Conquistador, taking them above 75. Or we could just call a Diet that doesn't take him to 75. Recruiting the Diplomat. Let's see. This lasts for 30 years. This lasts for 15 years. So I think we take the shorter term one. And then we demand the 150 points. And then again, this pisses them all off, but who cares? Like, you get so much more out of it than having them... Like, it's just good. It's good to do. We could take tech. Any reason to not take tech? I don't think so. I think we take the tech. 
And then I think that we are below our naval limit by quite a bit. Yes, we are. So we start building ships as needed, as 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 available. And we'll need to upgrade our new ships. Gold Rush. Oh yes. Gain some inflation. We gained a bunch of money. Takes us up to our force limit. We could try to sell our old ships. And then we'd pick up some more inflation. Who likes us? Is there anyone? Is there anyone in the whole world that likes us? Korchin and Brunei like us. We could try selling our ships to our own vassal. I wonder if he would accept. Can you sell ships to a vassal? Sell ships. Hmm. Maybe. We're working on getting a second claim up here so we could do this. We don't necessarily need the claim. I want that, that colonist though. I think it's just a little bit too too much work, too tedious to try to sell the old ships to uh, to a vassal or something. So 20k troops should be enough to actually win the war, but just to make sure that it's safe, we'll bring down the rest as well. I also have 4k troops hanging out down here. Who knows what they're up to? They don't really belong here. Supply limit's only 23 here, so... As soon as the navy is about to arrive is going to be when we want to declare. We didn't end up with too many leaders. A one, two. Do we get rid of the admiral? You're just a regular old admiral. You're the one we hired to get the, the, the points. You're actually a pretty good admiral, all, all things considered. I think we fire the this guy. We keep the shock value. We keep the Conquistador. This is a 115, which is fine. I like that maneuver. In fact, I think I'd prefer that down here. Okay, our boats. We have a long way to go. July of 72, quite a long ways away at this rate. At this rate, what we're looking for actually. We're losing so much money right now. These mercs are expensive, man. We have loans. Thousand ducats in debt. Uh, but let's take our colonist. We've got one, two, three provinces down here. Let's make sure that this is all part of colonial... Should be all part of colonial Australia. And then we'll just go and... I want to get this colonial nation started as soon as possible. And then after that we focus entirely on colonizing for our own benefit. And let them do their colonization. Or maybe we focus on getting them up to 10 so we get the free merchant. That might be a good way to go too. Okay. Uh, we lost a claim on a random province that isn't even colonized anymore. Our ships are on their way. The Japanese Mulakas. Doing fine. Get to renew our loan. It's okay, our financial situation is going to get better eventually. Don't worry. Let's bring you back for a moment. Since the ships are about to arrive. The army decided to march down here instead of just all going... I just don't even understand this game sometimes. Okay, uh, no CB. I lost my claim? Lost my claims? Damn it. 25 years ago we, la we laid these plans. Twenty-five years planning, and I didn't ever do anything with it. 
Hey, they'll only be pissed off for a little bit longer. These guys need some help. Uh, why don't we call a diet for them? Takes them up to 87%. We'll have a penalty. Uh, but in just a couple years, the penalty goes away. In 65. So they're happy. Which is good. Meanwhile, we are at our force limit, or will be. We could try to spend money upgrading ships, but I think we're better off paying off the loans. Staying at full maintenance while we wait on this is kind of silly. Let's go down to half maintenance for now. We'll save a little bit of money. We have a Liberty, High Liberty Desire Vassal. Hmm. Well, when my diplomatic reputation comes back, they'll like us. I only need 20... Ugh. 0.85, it's so slow. The fact that they're not being integrated right now really makes no difference. Okinawa is a... 7 development province. The nobility estate loses loyalty, or they gain loyalty? Sure. Gain loyalty, I don't care. A little bit of autonomy is not going to hurt anything. I can't believe that I waited 25 years. I hate that claims expire so quickly. I really do. I feel like it should they should last 50 years. Long enough that you're, like, guaranteed to... Oh, God, now Ming has internal conflicts? As if it wasn't obvious already. Ming is having some problems, is what they're trying to say. Oh, no, not our heir. Our heir, who's a 224. Uh, 75% chance he dies. Do we care about a 224? Not really. I mean, he's below average. Pray for, the, pray for his life. He's dead. We have no legal heir. So, let's, uh... Let's hope that we have... Do we even have uh, royal marriages? With our vassals. We have three vassals. We have one royal marriage with Korchin. We should probably get a few more royal marriages. Hmm. Kind of a crap, crap modifier. Alright, so now my diplomatic reputation should be higher, and that makes Bernie like us again. So now we're looking pretty good on integration speed. Four per month, four per month. March, January. So very close to being synced up. Uh, I brought my diplomat back home for a reason, and now I don't remember what it was. I needed to do something. What was it that I needed a diplomat for? I don't know. I mean, I suppose since the integrations are going well, we should start fabricating a network on you so that we can do the same thing we did with the other guy. Or are going to do with the other guy. Oh, it was royal marriages. Royal marriages, because we have no heir. Now I remember. Besides, we, we're so we're close to having the claim here. We want to get this war started right away. Of course, this is just gonna hurt our legitimacy. But hey, we could use an heir. And they are about to get integrated. Seems fine. That's why we're losing money. Ming is no longer a valid rival. Cool, we have no valid rivals. So, 
Say goodbye to power projection. No longer a thing. That's the reason why we're losing money, is because I had to hire the full price level 3 advisor just to try to get the integration going. We'll keep it going until these are done, and then we're going to get rid of them. And we'll square away our, square away our finances. Four, nice, nice error. 445. Very good. I'm glad that our previous error died. Sorry, Yoshi, or whatever your name was. I'm not sad that you're dead. Ming dead. They're no longer a valid rival for good reason. So we have 93% control here. Only 42% control here. This is the... Girin node, and I'm gonna... Ever, I, I swear, the ledger terrifies me. Because every time I've gone to this ledger page, it has caused games to crash. When you look at this specific one. I'm looking for Girin. Garen node has a total value of 3.55. Can you see that from in here and now? I don't think you can see it from in here anywhere, but I think you can see it now from here. Yes, so I don't need to worry about going to the ledger. Total value of local trade and incoming trade. That's the value that matters. So would we rather have some of our ships pull from here? And I think the answer is probably yes. But also, we've got these upstream nodes which we can reach, California, but it only has a value of 0.3, so there's like nothing to be taken from there yet. And the other upstream node, it's just it's just California, right? No, we actually haven't discovered the other node, so never mind. I think we do take half of our ships. Um, we split in half. First off, we have to take them off their mission, apparently. So, cancel mission. And split. Mission protect trade in Nippon. Mission protect trade in Girin. Trade income was 11.7. 11.7, and it's slightly down, but not down by enough to concern me, really. So annoying. Okay, integration in January. But what we're really waiting for right now is 20 points. So, I think we wait like two more months. Or one more month. Now we go to full maintenance. We get ready to invade this guy. I want to wait, ideally, to win the war until after we finish integrating the vassal, just so that this new vassal that we get doesn't get pissed off with us right away for us having integrated vassals. You know? Commonwealth has inherited Lithuania. Okay, the Commonwealth is a thing. Muscovy looks like it's going to turn into Russia. Things are going well for them. And, uh, yeah, we've got a couple more months to go to integrate. And we've got our points. So, let us fabricate a claim on Mukomuku. Which has the claim, or core. I can't remember now which one it was that we wanted to do. Was it, uh, Pasai or Paraguacacaca? Looks like it's Pasai. Yeah, it's Pasai. Okay. 
Alright, I'm gonna take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. See you soon.